When two young men died, New South Wales government introduced mandatory sentences for one-punch attacks. When it was terrorism, laws were changed to jail people on the apprehended risk of crimes. But when Australian men kill Australian women, the government's national plan is to take 10 years. In the gallery today are advocates here to hold a vigil for the 192 women killed by men since the 2021 March for Justice. We have a crisis of male violence and women's safety. Will you be tough on this domestic terrorism by leading an overhaul of national sentencing laws, including AVOs? Call to the Prime Minister. Violence against women is indeed a national crisis. We know that when, on average, once every four days a woman is murdered by someone they know, by an intimate partner or former partner, uh, that is a national crisis. It's a scourge and it's a stain on our nation. And we need to do better. Governments need to do better, but we as a community need to do better as well, because this is about more than just government action. This is about our whole society and how it functions and about respect for women. Uh, we can change it and we must change it. Uh, our record investment in the national plan, I do disagree with her depiction of the national plan. The national plan from 2022 is a recognition uh, that Tragically, you can't solve this overnight. You need to change behaviour across a whole range of ways. We need to change the way the education system works. The Royal Commission in Victoria in 2016, one of the things that they found uh, was that they needed to get that education about respectful relationships in school, and that has happened. And one of the things about the uh, National Cabinet meeting I convened was that people talked about replicating best practice, and that included the issue of sentencing. And I note that New South Wales has made a significant announcement, and I support it. The stronger action uh, for people who have AVOs, uh, stronger action to make sure that people aren't just released uh, into the community who are a threat uh, to a, a woman. Uh, very strong action indeed. And I know that other states, uh, premiers and chief ministers as well, agreed at that meeting uh, to look at all of their laws, including bail laws, and to return uh, to the National Cabinet. They are state laws, they're not national laws, uh, but we can encourage uh, best practice when it comes uh, to that. Uh, we, through that National Cabinet uh, meeting, established uh, permanently uh, the Leaving Violence Payment, and tonight's budget will see $925 million uh, for that. Uh, tonight's budget will also see a billion dollars directed towards crisis and transitional accommodation for women and children escaping domestic violence. In addition to that, the Minister for Communications is doing important work to tackle extreme online misogyny, uh, which is a real issue and something that will be a real focus as well. Uh, I pay tribute to uh, the survivors and, and people uh, who are working so strongly on this. A focus on prevention, of course, must mean a focus on perpetrators as well. And we know the work will be hard. There are no overnight solutions, but we're absolutely committed to working, including with the member for Ringa and across this parliament, on all of these issues to make sure uh, that uh, the scourge which is there uh, be dealt with uh, in the best possible way. Mm -hmm.